this episode of Best in Kamloops, we are serving up our first restaurant feature at a family-owned and operated downtown restaurant since 2004, known for its exceptional customer experience. We are not just serving food, we are serving an experience to people. All right, this is actually uh, exceeding expectations here. These are absolutely next level, fresh flavor. And a menu offering a unique and fresh spin on Indian cuisine. Don't worry, we even have something for our adult viewers. The experts are telling me you gotta stir this one up again. That's all coming up next on this episode of Best in Kamloops. Okay, it's that time again, time for another Best in Kamloops review. Today we are doing our first ever restaurant feature on a locally owned and operated downtown restaurant since 2004. Let's go check it out. At this restaurant, the customer experience is paramount and each person is treated like a celebrity. Indian food is more than curry sauces, rice, and naan bread, and this restaurant puts a unique spin on authentic Indian cuisine. The food has layers of flavor, all the spices are freshly crushed, and the herbs are from local gardens. There are plenty of vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free options, as well as the ability to customize your heat. Welcome to Morias. All right, it's that time again, time for another Best in Kamloops re review. We are downtown at Morias restaurant at Victorian Second, and you might recognize the name because I actually reviewed the samosas here in episode four and these are amongst the very best samosas in Kamloops but we've got a few other dishes to try we've got these uh, chilea tacos which are made with a, a rice and lentil patty with a kebab and some vegetables on top obviously the samosas we've covered in episode four and these are actually the cauliflower wings which are kind of interesting looks like a deep fried cauliflower and we got some dipping sauce Let's dig in, we'll tell you what we think. Okay, first dish we're trying is the cauliflower wings. All right, this is actually um, exceeding expectations here. And we're indoors actually, which is nice because indoor dining just opened up about a week ago. And apparently the best time to eat this food is in-house when it's still hot. They look like they're breaded, but they're actually not. These, in fact, are gluten-free and they're vegan, which is an interesting idea because they're actually not breaded. So they are gluten-free and the dipping sauce is amazing. It's like a, like a yogurt base and it's got a really fresh flavor with some um, citrus. These are absolutely next level. I've never had these before. So this is quite the experience. The only thing I can tell you, these are incredible. Wow, just come have a look at this uh, dipping sauce here. Yeah, this dipping sauce got some mint and some lime flavor. I don't think anybody would be unimpressed with these uh, cauliflower wings. I really like those. Those are really good. Next dish we got here is chile tacos. So a little bit different than your normal taco. This isn't the Taco Bell, obviously. And the shells are not a traditional tortilla made with corn. These are actually made with the lentil. And I believe these things are gluten-free as well. Obviously not, not vegan because the kebab on top made out of meat and chicken. And it looks like we got lettuce, tomato, cucumber, and then some yogurt sauce. Let's give this thing a bite. These things are next level as well. Come take a look at the kebab. There's actually some spice. It's not just a slab of meat, which is kind of nice. So to me, um, one thing about Indian food that I really enjoy, it's actually my favorite cuisine. Every time you eat something at an Indian restaurant, there's a level of flavor in each ingredient. Like the lentil shell, there's flavor in that. You get some nice flavor from the vegetables and then the kebab is actually mind blowing. Even like the yogurt sauce on, on here has some flavor, which is awesome. Maybe I'll squeeze some lemon. I could eat a dozen of those, no problem. Chile tacos, 
those are absolutely fantastic. All right, going down a familiar road here, we've got the veggie samosas here. And again, episode four, I reviewed these and I said they're one of my favorite in town. The thing that makes these samosas unique, they are very crispy. They're, they're not doughy at all. And if you like a crispy samosa, these are the crispiest in town. And, and the filling that I remember, it's got a dark color to it and it's, it's moist, it's not dry. Sometimes you get a potato filling in a samosa and it's quite dry. Check the dark texture on this. Yeah, these samosas are next level. For sure one of the best samosas in Kamloops. And the tamarind sauce, I recall the tamarind being one of my favorite in town. They use a special sugar to sweeten it. Easily a top tamarind sauce in Kamloops, without question. Listen to this crunch, hopefully you can hear it. It's hard to have a bad thing to say. And one thing about having a crunchy shell, you're not gonna make a mess. Mash filling crunchy shell, you don't make a mess when you're eating these. Sometimes when you're eating the ones with a crumbly filling, it spills all over. Fantastic samosa. Fennel seed, potato. Uh, looks like some peas. All right, now we got a special treat for our adult viewers, so. If you're over 19, you can enjoy this section. If you're not, maybe you wanna press the pause button and skip to the end. The first drink we have is the Amaretto Apple Sour. And I'm not really a big drinker, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I usually don't like many drinks, but when it sounds like it tastes like candy and sweetness and sour, I, I'm all in. So let's give this one a try. Ooh, that's nice. All right, the experts are telling me this needs to be stirred. This shows you how inexperienced of a drinker I actually am. Um, and I'm gonna give it another sip here. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense why you stir it. Because the sweetness is only at the bottom. If your straw's not at the bottom, you don't get sweetness. You definitely taste the amaretto because it has like an almond extract flavor or like a cherry flavor. You got the sourness, and then obviously the ice makes it cold and refreshing. So this actually has almond extract flavored. That's what amaretto tastes like. It's got apple, and I think it's got a little bit of lime. And good thing I know there's alcohol in there. If I didn't, I'd probably pound down 10 of these and wonder why I'm spinning on the ground. But amaretto apple sour, fantastic drink. I think it, especially with summer coming up, this one would be a refreshing one for all the adult viewers out there. All right, next drink for the adult fans out there. This is the Jaggery Mojito. In the Jagger Mojito, I think we've got some lime, uh, we've got some fennel, mint, ginger, and soda. So the experts are telling me you gotta stir this one up again. Clearly, I don't really know what I'm doing. But when in Rome, here we go. I think it's stirred up enough. Let's try it. Interesting. So I, I have had a mojito before. I do like the mint taste. This one tastes very good, but again, I don't really drink that often, but if I would want to drink from here, I go with amaretto sour myself personally. But this one's nice. It's smooth. It's not too heavy in the alcohol taste. It's got a nice, obviously fresh mint. And it's got some lemon in, or lime in here. Hot day, sitting outside on the patio. If you're sipping one of these mojitos, I don't think you'd have a complaint in the world. Come out, um, try one of these or the Amaretto Apple Sours downtown. Um, treat yourself on the patio. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this feature on our first ever restaurant. Again, I'd, I'm not gonna score some restaurants when I'm featuring them. I'd like to showcase some of the dishes, hopefully teach some of the people out there watching what is in some of the dishes. What should they order when they come to a restaurant? Cauliflower wings, chilea tacos, and the samosas. If you get one of those, grab one of these drinks, I don't think you can go wrong. Let's roll.
So our spot is unique since we are operating 2004 is because of experience. We are not just serving food, we are serving an experience to people. Every guest who comes to Moria's is considered a celebrity for us. So it is more about experience. At Moria's, what you can expect is flavor. First of the thing is, also we try to keep the dish as authentic as we can based upon the availability of products and the ingredients as well. Also, we try to educate our customers. So at Moria's, you do not have to worry about that Indian food is very spicy and it will burn your heart and everything. We don't do that. Now, if somebody wants any spice, we customize every single dish. If you prefer a mild flavors, we can do that. If you prefer super extra hot insanity mode, we can do that as well. So, community of Kamloops, so my brother who owns this restaurant, his name is Dilip Maurya. So it is a husband and wife run a family owned restaurant since 2004. He landed uh, Canada, I think so, in 1997 at Vancouver. And then he worked and opened a restaurant in Penticton. That was our first, first restaurant. So Kamloops, he thought, is a very nice city and it is a community based. Because even in uh, back home, our neighbors and everything, we like a community base a lot. So we chose a spot as well to open a family run, husband and wife. And then we wanted to support the community as well. So we thought, okay, we should stick to local, want to do a local business and want to create uh, something more authentic Indian dishes. Last two years, since 2018, we are trying to elevate things for our local community so they can also experience what a true Indian cuisine can look like. It is not just a curry or a powdered mix.